Welcome to another episode of the New Homes podcast and thank you for joining. I'm Tom and today we're at Weaver Park in, in leafy Cheshire and uh, today we're going to be talking all about taking the stress out of selling your home. Joining me to discuss this topic, uh, we've got two new guests uh, who are welcoming to the podcast. We've got Jessica Moreau, who is a property expert and national sales director at Simplify. Hi. And Anna Evans Kerr, sales director for Red Row Northwest. Hi. Thanks both for joining. Uh, we're going to find out a bit more about you both very shortly, but first I wanted to jump straight in with a question and ask you both, what's more stressful, do you think? Is it buying a home or selling your home? Uh, Jess, if I start with you. Oh, so both are stressful. For me personally, I would say buying a home only because the home that you're buying is a house that you've fallen absolutely in love with. So making sure it all goes through in a quickly and timely manner and you don't lose that house of your dreams, I think is, is quite stressful. Okay. And how about you, Anna? I'd probably say selling a home is more stressful only because the new home is so exciting. All you want to do is move in and the stress actually comes with the secondhand property that you are trying to sell and everything that goes with it. So yeah, I'd probably say selling. Okay, well, we've voted each way. That's an interesting start. Um, we can agree that both can be stressful though, I suppose. Definitely. Um, Jess, you must have helped a huge number of people uh, with selling their home. Uh, can you tell me a bit more about yourself and your background and your role? Yeah, sure. So um, I've been at Move With Us for around 13 years. I originally got into property because I was, absolutely loved it. I bought my first home when I was 19. So when the chance came up to work at Move With Us, I jumped at it. I mm -hmm. started in the conveyancing department and then went on to the house builder side where I worked for 11 years. I initially started just managing a portfolio of on-market properties, then became a client relationship manager, looking after some larger PLC house builders, and most recently working as national sales director for Simplify. So I sit over two amazing brands, Move With Us and Moving Made Easy, both of which support Red Row in their help to sell schemes. Great, okay, no, that sounds really good. Look forward to uh, finding out a bit more about that. Um, and Anna, how about you? Uh, I joined Red Row nearly 10 years ago, initially as a sales consultant, so working on all of our developments across the Northwest at the time. Um, I moved to an area sales manager and then to head of sales, working in this division and our Midlands division as well, and more recently as sales director. So we're here today, Anna, at the, uh, the end of June as we're filming this now. Uh, can you give me a sense of how the property market's performing currently? Well, over the last couple of years, the property market has been absolutely buoyant. It's been crazy. Um, we are starting to see signs of it normalising a little bit. However, customers are still coming in and they're still wanting to live in our homes. We're building in such fantastic locations and we are seeing that the demand is still there. Great, okay. And Jess, what about in terms of selling homes in the second-hand market? Yeah, so I echo um, what Anna said, the, in the market in the last few years has been crazy. However, we are now starting to see signs that that market is toughening a little bit. Um, May, for example, was the first time since October 2020 that listings have outstripped supply uh -huh. um, in terms of sales. So, you know, supply is now outweighing demand, and that is something we've not seen for the last 24 months. So it's just getting a little bit tougher out there. We're starting to see people negotiate a little bit more in terms of on asking prices, um, which is just not something we've seen in the, in the last year or so. Okay. Well, let's turn to the stresses of selling your home, which is what we're here to discuss. Now, there are, there are many of these. Uh, I know when I sold my home to move into my red row, I um, tried to save myself a little bit of money and I went uh, from a removals company that I found online on the comparison site and ended up with a, a lorry full of my stuff broken down on my drive, uh, <laughs> which was, was not the best experience. No. Uh, so my advice would be, uh, don't try and save money on, on removals. Yeah. Uh, for you two, what sort of advice would you offer people that are looking to uh, sell their home? If I start with you, Jess. Yeah, so um, something that we always talk to our customers about when they're going on the open market is to consider doing an open house style viewing. Um, we think that removes quite a lot of the stress of having back-to-back -back viewings um, day after day, week after week. So setting aside a day with the estate agent where they would um, have back-to-back -back viewings of all interested parties, they would expose your property to to the market for around seven days beforehand. It means that you can leave your home in show home condition when you walk out the door that morning, knowing that you've taken high chairs, you know, baby play mats, anything that perhaps isn't conducive to a nice show home look. Mm -hmm. um, pop it all in your car, off you pop for the day, <laughs> and the estate agent can have um, yeah free reign of your house for an entire day, um, and you're not having to, to accommodate viewings on a regular basis. Brilliant, and I can see how that would really work. As soon as I turn my back on a clean house, the kids have got stuff everywhere. Yeah. So, exactly, uh, yeah. And that does sound good. How about you, Anna? Have you got any tips for people? I'd, I'd probably say my biggest tip is um, 
try not to wait for too long. If you have gone to a development and fallen in love with one of our properties in your absolute ideal location you want to be, try not to wait too long. A lot of people sometimes think, well, I've got to paint the kitchen ceiling or I've got to do this before it goes on. And actually time is moving fast. And like we said before, demand is still there. So try not to wait, you know, come in, see us and let's get the ball rolling as, as quickly as possible. Great. Okay. And of course, we're on the new homes podcast. One of the big difference with uh, buying a new home and buying at Red Row is that support network that's yeah. accessible to you. Can you uh, tell me a bit more about that, please, Anna? Well, there is support for any of our customers from the moment that they walk in. Um, they will see a new homes expert. We will be able to talk you through the process step by step. There's many things, for example, independent financial advisors, um, new home expert solicitors, and every step of the way that we will help and support you. And the great thing with that is you can get on with your busy day-to-day -day life and let us do the work for you. And Jess, of course, that support network, uh, that's where, where you come in and your colleagues. Can you um, tell us a bit more about uh, assisted move schemes and what they are and how they work? Yeah, sure. So assisted sale is a fantastic sales initiative to enable somebody who's not in a procedable position to get into a procedable position as quickly as possible. So the way in which we market the property is on a multi-agency approach, and that tends to be something that somebody wouldn't be able to access themselves if they were going to go on the open market uh, independently. The multi-agency approach which really helps drive activity and also ultimately sales price up as high as possible. And when we look at um, national averages, we know it takes on average 29 days for a property to sell on the open market. However, when utilising schemes like Help to Sell, we're able to get a red row customer a sale within just 21 days. And then just to put that, make sure I've understood it correctly. So then multi-agency, that's your home being listed with a number of different estate agents at one point. Exactly that. So we would go out to two agents in competition with each other. What that means is we pay the agent who achieves the sale. So it's a winner takes all basis. It really means the agents are fully incentivized to a, get as much activity as early as possible for the customer, but also to make sure that they're the agent with the highest offer and ultimately getting the sale. Great. Yeah, you can certainly see how that would, would help. Um, Anna, our scheme is, is help to sell. Can you tell yes. me a bit more about that specifically and how a customer would begin to access that? Well, firstly, a customer would come in and see us. Um, the first thing we need to do is to find out what home the customer requires. So we ask a lot of questions based on the customer's needs. We will then be able to pick a couple of different um, homes for the customer that would work for them. Once you've decided that this is the home for you, um, this is definitely the location for you, we start off with a really simple 10, 15 minute application form, free of charge, no obligation, and we get the ball rolling very, very quickly. That's when we pass you on to our second hand experts who will be able to achieve that sale as quickly as possible. Great, okay. Uh, what are some of the advantages of using Help to Sell, Jess? So specifically with Help to Sell, because you found a plot or several plots of your dreams on a development site, you need to get yourself into a position to move as quickly as possible. You want to get that plot reserved before somebody else also comes and falls in love with it. So again, back to the point of how quickly we can help you get to that point, using the Help to Sell will get you the opportunity to reserve your plot faster. Um, you also don't enter into any contract with any estate agent like you would if you went on the open market. So should Help to Sell not work for you for any reason, you are then free to walk away at any point. Great, okay. And I suppose, like Anna was saying, in terms of the um, getting on with your, your own life as well, some of those conversations and burdens that are related to dealing with estate agents, you guys are able to take care of that, right? Absolutely. So you'll be given a main point of contact at our office. They will handle everything on your behalf. Um, Red Row customers are given complete control, ultimately, with all the decision making, mm -hmm. but we will kind of cut down the noise and make it as smooth as possible. So a lot of the to and fro with estate agents, arranging viewings, negotiating offers, um, dealing with inquiries, it was all done by our team so that we just go back to both Red Row and the customer with a, a complete update and they know the situation without having to do all the day-to-day -day admin tasks that come with that. So what kind of customers do you think this might be suited for, Anna? Help to sell is for every single customer. So a customer that's downsizing, a customer that is upsizing, somebody that is relocating. It is for absolutely any customer that is needing to sell their home to be able to buy one of ours. So we've talked about some of the advantages. Um, what's the potential downside of, of using the scheme? Um, 
is it something to do with price, Jess? Maybe you can't get as high a price as you could achieve elsewhere? So that is fundamentally one of the biggest objections that we face, but it is just categorically not true, especially when it comes to help to sell. So on average, a UK property will achieve 98% of its asking price. At the moment, we're currently achieving over 100% of asking price for help to sell um, customers. So no, you will not get a lower price. Okay, that's brilliant. Uh, well, what about control? Is there an element of... You know, you've signed your house away on, on the dotted line and you're no longer in control of the process. No, absolutely not. The customer has a complete autonomy still over all decisions that are made on their property. They just have somebody on their side making sure that the decisions that they're making are A, the right ones, B, it's the quickest and best route to get them into the plot that they want and they're achieving the best possible price. Well, um, let's talk about uh, chains now, which can quite often be the, the bane of any house sale. Um, Anna, when it comes to chains, uh, what's your advice and approach that you'd typically employ? Well, for me, it's not just about the buyer who buys your home. It is about the chain. Um, we need to be able to check all the way to the bottom of that chain to make sure that the people that are buying the houses within the chain know about our six-week exchange process, know about when uh, the completion date of our home is, and everybody's signed up to that. That is just as important, and that is something that are checks that we do and I know that Jess and, and her team do it as well. And we do it really, really well. Some people that maybe don't go with the help to sell scheme don't have that confidence to know what's happening right at the bottom of the chain. And that's where problems can occur. And what about you, Jess? Have you got any advice for, for chains in particular? Yeah, so I completely echo what Anna said there. Um, you know, the chains are the biggest frustration that everybody has at the moment. It can really elongate the time to exchange. And when we are looking at a six-week exchange, it's really important to make sure that the chain is fully aware of what's expected of them from the outset. So um, our team are obviously trained in fully and robustly checking the chain all the way through. And it may even be that we have to advise a customer on which offer is better suited to them based on the length of the chain and when the plot is anticipated for exchange and completion. In the market that we're in at the moment, you know, we're in situations where people have multiple offers per property and then it's about assessing the chain and making sure that that customer is selecting not only the best offer but the best offer that's going to get them their completion as well so if uh, somebody is accepting an offer and there's two three four even five links in a chain making sure that the chain are fully aware of everything that's expected of them from the outset and that chain is fully financially qualified all the way to the bottom is so important and that is something that wouldn't happen if you went on the open market yourself an agent would check the associated buyer below and they wouldn't make any checks on the further chain Okay. One of the solutions I know uh, that sometimes can happen is that that longer move in between uh, needing to complete the, the sale and exchange and then being able to move into your red row home. Are there sometimes some advantages to that, Anna, I think you were saying earlier? Yeah, there, there are advantages. I mean, one of the main advantages is that you're buying a home at today's price, which is a great advantage. Um, another advantage is that your home um, can be bespoke a little bit more, so you will have time to be able to use on my retro, so you'll be able to go online and choose kitchens and floorings and wardrobes, etc. And, and not just um, on a one-off appointment as well, you can maybe do two or three different appointments, making sure that everything's in your home and you know so yep sometimes people do have to wait for the home there may be a two or three four month delay in moving into your home but honestly once you've moved in and it's exactly how you want it it's your dream home you'll forget about that we're going to come back to help to sell uh, shortly as i do have some uh, exciting news to to share um but first if we just talk more broadly um what other support is there uh, at red row for people that are looking to sell their home and move anna well, our sales consultants are excellent in what they do. You know, we have the latest technology. So when you come into a um, sales centre, whether that be walking in or making an appointment, you will know that you will have our undivided attention and we will make sure that um, we find the home for you that is correct. On top of that, we have, like I mentioned before, independent financial advisors that work with new properties. And we also have um, solicitors that work with new builds as well. They, they know the process and it does make it a lot easier. Um, what I will say is that we will give you our full support. Um, we will take out the stress, like I said, as much as we possibly can. And we keep in contact with you. We will do as much as possible to be able to help you with your journey. And Jess, have you got any um, final advice for someone who's thinking about putting their home on the market at the minute? 
Yeah, so a couple of things, but just to expand on what, what Anna said there, you know, getting yourself legally prepared is one of the most important things that you can do. Finding a solicitor who is really au fait with the nuances of a plot build, getting them instructed as early as possible means they can do a lot of the paperwork up front. So then when you are accepting an offer and agreeing a sale, contract packs can go out as quickly as possible. All of these things help speed up and get that six week exchange over the line. So just making sure you're legally prepared is really key. Um, another thing that I always think is really, really helpful as well is just making sure sure that you've gone around your house either by yourself or with your partner and you've agreed the fixtures and fittings that you're taking and leaving because there's nothing worse than having to renegotiate with a buyer who thought you were leaving all your gorgeous light fittings and then they receive the contract pack and find out you're stripping things out. Yeah. So getting that sorted up front and, and letting us know, letting the agents know so we can speak to any prospective buyers about that early on is, is really important. Great. Well, there's a huge amount of, uh, of good advice there. Thank you. Well, it's time for me to reveal our news. We are very excited as we're going to be holding a national Help to Sell weekend, the 16th and 17th of July. So do make a note of that date. Uh, this is going to be taking place at developments all across the country. And you can come and talk to us about everything to do with Help to Sell and getting your property on the market uh, and all the kind of questions we've been discussing today. Even better, for this weekend only, we're going to be paying the estate agency fees for anyone that makes that help to sell application during the weekend. So uh, that's a bit of a game changer, right, Jess? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, moving home is expensive enough. There's costs left, right and centre. So having um, you know contribution towards your estate agency fees can really help to kind of relieve that financial burden. Anna, what um, can people expect if they are turning up for this weekend from your teams? Well, we're really excited for this weekend. It's going to be great for our customers. When you turn up, you're going to have a sales consultant that will be able to talk you through the steps of the help to sell. Jess and her team are going to be on some of our larger developments, giving lots of advice. And of course, you can actually sign up for the help to sell on that weekend as well. Great. Well, for full details of the Help to Sell weekend and the terms and conditions of that amazing offer, do head to redrow.co.uk. There's also a link in the video description so you can, can click and follow that straight through. Uh, as Anna said, I would strongly recommend booking an appointment just to guarantee your time with us. We do expect to be quite busy. Uh, it's really easy to book an appointment, just head to the development page that you're looking to visit and you can follow through there. It only takes a minute and you can let us know when to expect you. Well, thanks again to my guests for joining us. It's been really great chatting to you and uh, thanks to you at home for watching or listening. Next episode, Roz is going to be chatting through all about options and extras, my red row and how you can make your home yours. So uh, make sure you like and subscribe so you don't miss that one. Thank you very much and goodbye.